So one of the things that makes a mix sound uh, unprofessional is a lack of consistent low end. So here I'm going to show you how to get that consistent low end throughout your mix. You can do this in any DAW. Uh, these are stock plugins. Um, this is in Reaper, but like I said, you can use this on any platform. Uh, and here in yellow, I just have uh, a bass track. It's just a, a DI straight into the computer. And this is just routed to a bass sub, and you'll see why in a second. Um, but as the mix stands right now, it doesn't sound bad, but as you listen to it, you'll realize that it's just not consistent low end. So here we go. Here's the mix. So that doesn't sound bad, but part of the job of the mix engineer is to make it sound better. Um, so you, you want a good take, and that'll make your mix sound good, but the part of the mix engineer, the part of the mixing process is to make it sound better. Just take it to that next level. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and just, like I said, just with stock effects, we're going to grab an EQ, and on this bass, we're just going to low pass it um, or high cut however you uh, want to look at it so just by default this uh, low cuts you know starts and it's a gradual cut around 200 hertz and that that'll be fine for what we're doing here so I'm gonna leave it just the way it is now what this does is it cuts out the high end in this base and you just get a, a big blob of just low end coming through I'm gonna go grab a compressor um, just move the ratio up to say three or four to one somewhere around there and all we're gonna do is just play this and we're just gonna catch the peaks now I'll solo this so you can see what's going on so as we play this I'm just I'm just gonna grab the peaks here so that we kind of even it out and you can see how you can see how inconsistent this bass is you know, sometimes we're catching minus 6 dB, sometimes we're not catching anything, and that's just showing you how inconsistent this is. Now, I'm going to just copy this compressor down. Um, so, now we've got the, the same compressor. So, we've got an EQ that's just allowing the low end through. We've got one compressor that's sort of catching the peaks. On this one, we're going to move this ratio up to something crazy like, you know, in the low 20s we're almost limiting this base because we just want that solid consistent low end so now when we play it you know we've just got a we've got a solid consistent low end coming through now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this base so I'm just gonna duplicate this track only on this track on the second track instead of low passing it what I'm going to do is I'm going to high pass it. So on the first one, we've got low end coming through, and I'm just going to do this once again, just a gradual roll off right around 200. Um, you can make it more precise if you want. Um, and on the second one, once again, I'm going to catch the peaks, but you can hear now that we've, we've got just the high end coming through. All right, so it looks like minus 32 dB is what we've got. So we'll take the second compressor um, and move it down there as well. So once again, we're we're letting the low end come through on the first track and almost limiting it with the compressor, catching the peaks and then almost limiting it. On the second track, we're doing the same thing, but we're letting the high end of the bass come through and then catching the peaks and then almost limiting that as well. So now we've got two tracks, one with just low end coming through, um, and then I've got a second track with just the high end coming through. Now, this will automatically make the song sound more professional, but we're gonna take and duplicate the second track and because this bass really has no character to it, it you know, it, it doesn't, it's just, it's just a clean DI. So what we want to do is add some character to it. 
so that it, it kind of sounds like it's coming through an amp. Now you can put an amp modeler on this third one so that you get that character uh, that you're looking for in the bass. Um, but just using stock plugins, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm just going to go grab a, a the stock distortion plugin. So this is the stock distortion plugin that comes with Reaper. Like I said, all your dolls will come with all of these as as stock plugins. Now. This is going to sound absolutely disgusting by itself. So if I, I solo this bass here, yeah, that's a that's just a nasty distorted bass. But if I play all these basses together, that's why I have this bass sub. They're all running into this bass sub. I'm going to bring this distortion in underneath just to add some character. So. So maybe around there. <clears throat> what this also allows you to do if you've got consistent low end on one track, consistent high end on another track, uh, and then sort of a, a character, maybe you use a Sans amp or an Ampeg modeler, wh whatever it is you use on that on that third one to you know to add some character to it. What this allows you to do doing it this way is you can raise the high end without raising the low end or vice versa you can raise the low end if you don't have enough of that in your mix you just go to your low end track and raise that up a little bit or if, if you can't hear the definition of the bass then you can you can go in and tweak the eq in the second track um, or maybe you, you want it uh, to sound more like the amp well that's on your third track so this allows you to have three separate tracks to really dial in uh, how you want that bass to sound. So if we play the track again, uh, what you're going to find is just a consistent low end. And if you run all of these through a submix, like I have here on this bass sub, then this allows you to control all three of these at the same time. So here's the finished mix. So I hope that helps you take your, your mixes to the next level. It's definitely going to make them sound more professional. If you need any help with anything at all, just reach out to me. I'll be glad to help you.